Hey there, welcome everyone guys. This is Asgro, I'm Shambo and today I'm here giving you a full tutorial on dancing ball in Unity. Well three people in our server asked me about dancing ball. It was flying line. Someone known named as Doopy and the unknown pentagram. I don't even know what that means. Okay. So now Instead of starting up a complete tutorial series, I've created an asset package that's gonna help you a lot. Okay, so you will download the asset package using the link that's given down there in the description. The link will open up this page on itch.io. So here are a few screenshots and here are a few features that I have in the package that is ball movement, dead screen button, gravity changer, jumper percentage calculator player follow that is the cam the script that's going to be attached to the camera flip order and turn turn trigger i also intended to add tap status that it that is it will show whether it is you know perfect tap medium tap or something like that but it was a bit difficult for means it was not difficult i made the logic i made everything but only the light was not visible enough so I was not making it. Simply download it by clicking over here. It will turn up this. Don't think that the package is paid. It's not paid. It's free. It's just a donation dialog box. So you can just click here. No thanks. Take me. Just take me to the downloads and download the Unity package. It's just one only. So after you download it, you will need to open up Unity and create a new project. Where is it? Okay. Here I'm opening up Unity. It's starting up. So we'll create a new project. Ah! We'll create a new project and what? Oh, it's really name it. Anything that you want, I'm going to name it DB. Create project. It's going to take some time. So once you create the project, we will need to import the package. So and right now, I am not going to explain to you what, how the scripts are working, what's the logic behind it. There are tons of comments given in the script so that you can understand what's the logic, how and why things are happening. But if you still want an explanation, you can always ask me via our cool Discord server. The link. The invitation link is down there in the description. And if a few people if ask me for explanation video, I will do explanation video. Just in case you want to know. Otherwise, it's going to take a few time. So I want to tell you that. We're making a battle royale game in Unreal Engine. Hope you will all like it, you know. Maybe. So let's start. Oh man. <laughs> see. What? I can see this is a little screenshot over here. Okay, so we have Unity open up over here. So we will go to Assets and then import package custom package and we will import this package it's decompressing now okay so here are all the things do not just go on selecting a few things import everything and the scripts get compiled oh today, today is very bad So we have this sample scene that just loaded from over here. Okay, so sample scene came out. Sample scene. This is the scene that loaded. Um, 
Here is the ball and stuff. It works. Just fine. Oh, yes, triggers on. Let's play and see first. So, a bit of that audio or sinker, but don't mind it, please. I have not added any obstacle over here just to show you that I can go over right now. But if I tag this plane as an obstacle, then the ball will stop move. Stop to move. But now how this is happening. We will go and create a new scene and make everything from scratch. Okay. So first of all but I will copy the plane. So that I can get a first new scene. Just I don't know how to click. Good. So I have it over here. So now we will need to create two spheres. First of all, let's go create a sphere over here. So it's uh, over here. Let's pull it down. Okay, so and it's on the plane now. But this is not the sphere that we will be looking at. We will look at a different sphere. Okay. Oh, we do not even need. If you want to make it from scratch, you can add spheres and add all the scripts that are over here. But I will recommend you not to do all this thing. Let's delete the sphere. This is fooling around. Here you can see you've got a menu named as group. Okay, let's click on that. You've got dancing wall, and here are all the different prefabs that you need: dead screen and screen, different sort of triggers, the ball, the path style. Here, click on this to create a few tags that are needed. So click on it and create a few tags. So let's see whether they are created or not. If they are not created then you will need to create a few tags. Tags and layers. Let's see. Okay. So a few two tags are created. Wait. One tag is not created. Okay. So this is the first bug I've seen. I'm going to create a tag. Name it Jumper. Make sure you have these three tags. The center is not needed much. But you need to have Turner and Jumper tag. Make sure you have them. You have to make it sure. Now you can create an Astro. Go about. This will open up this. Where you have about Astro and isolation media link and Astro link. Let's not go with that. Let's go dancing ball. Let's create ball. You can also hit Control Alt B to create a ball. So hit Control Alt B and here's the ball. Let's create it. Let's pull it up a bit. This is good. Now if you want to change the texture of the ball, ball do not change this stuff. This ball. Instead, you, okay. you must change the texture of this sphere because this is the first sphere that you have seen. This ball doesn't even have the mesh render on because this sphere is actually the one that's going to rotate. So, I pull this up, rigid body up, and here you can see here is the music that you need to add. There is a death screen that you need to add. That I, as I have not created, it's not added over here. Here is the speed. Here is the loop count. Let it be one. And here is the turn type. There are four different turn types. So let me open the script and show. Uh, let's open up the script over here. I will open it up with Notepad. So you can see, you will see over here. There are tons of comments. This and here is the turn type. These are based on the angle of the y-axis the angle of rotation and this is in the order of odd loop count and dash even loop count so turn type 1 means 0 to 90 90 to 0 back again 90 180 then 180 to 70 and 270 to 0 for turn type 1 2 3 4 respectively so you can choose any sort of turn type over here type 1 2 3 4 anything now here is the music that you need to add that is an audio source so we can add the audio source over here in the camera. So we will add audio clip that's already there, the prelude music. And we can now add the audio source main camera. Let's add a dancing ball screens, that screen. That's you can always add now that screen over here. So you're pretty much good to go. 
You can already start playing. Oh, sorry, I forgot to assign the camera, I guess. Sorry, I forgot to add the player move follow script, sorry. So, add the player follow script. I will choose Bob. Smooth factor, lesser. I will need to just uh, look at the player and let's see whether it looks should be this could be the same for that one in let's we need to adjust the camera because the camera is way too far away it seems let's save this scene so that we can copy of s no we'll copy the camera scenes sample scene I will copy the camera and proceed. We will delete this camera. No, this was. And here we go. Okay, good. Okay, sorry. I need to add the audio source now. And. So it has got the audio source. Uh, main camera. Let's go. Hit that. It's not following it. Now just to make it easy for you to make a path, I have added a function in the ball over here that's making math. If you have this off, then you can simply go on moving the ball. But if you have this on, then this is what happens. A path tile is being created as you can see with the name path 1 2 3 and so on this will help you understand where were the corners so that you can make your map easily one this tile it is always available as a pre tile it's over here as for a single path tile here you get it here is the tile and you can always make it so this is so simple way to create all this stuff so now there are various other things like the triggers that's turn trigger jump trigger teleportation trigger and gravity changer trigger now the gravity changer is a tricky one you will need to understand this series so the gravity changer is where has loaded come on oh there we as there is no mesh rendering over here you cannot see it or is is it and here's the mesh I knew I had kept the mesh for all the triggers you need to manually change them means change the renderers or shut down the renderers I've done this so that you can place the triggers easily so now there's a different logic behind the gravity trigger okay here's the cube and here's the gravity bed do not change these things do not change them they will mess around now you will need to grip the gravity value via this by default the gravity is in this unity world minus 9.81 in y axis that means the gravity is minus the 9.81 meter per second square the acceleration due to gravity beneath the plane that is downwards that's why even if the ball jumps it comes downwards but if you want the ball to go up then you will need to create the gravity in the positive y axis so you need to change the gravity from here to positive y axis and make sure that you place this cube just in the middle of a tile that is here's the path tile make sure it's placed right in the middle yes right in the middle and then you can start your work for the gravity trigger so delete this and the other triggers that's turn trigger and jump trigger they're very easy jump trigger just has just has a simple script with the jump strength over here that you can add and then you've got the turn trigger turn trigger you just need to change the control type means the type to which you want to switch then you've got teleportation simply choose the location you want to teleport to and then you've got all the different screens over here and that's pretty much what it is about this asset package hope 
you like this package give me good feedback i will wait for you please do report bugs and uh, yes once thank you thanks for watching